hello! My name is Mara and welcome to Books Like Whoa. Okay guys, today is Operation Fuck Up here in Project Poirot. Uh, so here's the deal. I was planning to review uh, the Harlequin tea set and other stories for you guys today, which I knew when I picked it that it was not entirely a Poirot collection, but I thought there were at least a good number of Poirot short stories in there. Turns out there's just the one. Um, so I decided that instead of trying, because I thought about maybe doing almost like a book club about that one short story, I just didn't feel like I had enough to say about it. And anyway, this was just me trusting Goodreads too much when it gave me the listing of the books I should be reading um, and finding, frankly, finding that book at the used bookstore for like five cents or something. So um, I am not going to be <laughs> reviewing that today. Instead, what I thought I would do is a quick video for you guys uh, giving you my recommendations about audiobooks for Agatha Christie. Now, just quickly, if you are not normally a viewer of Project Poirot, normally I, I do a spoiler-free review every week of all the Hercule Poirot novels. I've been reading them in order and almost at the end only have one left to review for you guys. Um, but I usually do that uh, every single week. So there's a whole playlist. I will have that linked somewhere if you're interested in watching that. But in the course of doing that project, I have gotten a lot of questions from a lot of people about, oh, do you have any recommendations for audio? Have you listened to this on audio? Is it good? I've had a lot of requests for recommendations for audiobooks, so I thought rather than just skipping this week that I would do this and hopefully this will be of use to anybody who is looking to find some recommendations about audiobooks. Now caveats abound here because um, I live in the US, so I can only speak really to the audiobooks that are available to me. And I am well aware that different countries have different narrators and I am well aware that there are different like kind of production values in different countries. Like, there's a lot of variables here. I can only speak to what I have access to. Most of the audiobooks that I'm going to recommend to you are narrated by Hugh Fraser. I absolutely love him as a narrator for Agatha Christie. He is sort of like my default, like, when I think of those stories being read aloud, I, I hear Hugh Fraser's voice on the ITV slash a &E versions of the Suchet adaptations. He plays Hastings, I believe. Um, he is a great narrator and most of my recommendations, he is the narrator. So I, I just wanna give the caveat that I can, I, I have a limited experience and I am speaking from my experience. But that being said, First recommendation is if you see that Hugh Fraser is the narrator, I can tell you pretty safely it's not gonna be terrible. What I wanna do is give you guys uh, some recommendations of books that I think particularly lent themselves well to audio. So here's the thing. I would say I have listened to easily 40 of Agatha Christie's books on audio, either as my first read or I really enjoy uh, rereading her through audio. And the reason I've, I've read so many of them this way is that I think that she is like the perfect place to go for road trip audiobooks. So if you are getting on a road trip, if you're going to be on the road for five to seven hours, get yourself an audiobook from Agatha Christie because like they're just, they lend themselves perfectly to that. They're interesting and engaging, but they're not too deep. So they're not going to be super distracting, but they are going to pass the time. They're great for that. So because I discovered that she lent herself so well to road trips, um, back when I lived in DC, the trip from DC to my parents' house was always like right at seven hours. So it was perfect to get through an Agatha Christie audio. So I did that a lot. So I have listened to a lot of Agatha Christie audio and I do feel like I have a pretty, like a pretty good sense of which ones are particularly good on audio. And that's kind of where I wanna lean into here is telling you that I think in general, Agatha Christie on audio is gonna be pretty good. So I think she's a pretty safe bet as a general rule, but this is my list of ones that I think are particularly good. So uh, I have three categories. I have like standalone-ish type ones, I have Poirot ones, and I have Marple ones. So let's start with the standalones. Okay, I have four recommendations. Uh, for ones that I think work particularly well on audio. First of all, probably my top recommendation in this category is Crooked House. I think that that book worked really, really well on audio, followed pretty closely in second by Sparkling Cyanide. Both of those are ones with um, 
larger casts of characters but not overwhelming and I think at least in the audios I was listening to which again I believe were narrated by Hugh Fraser if I'm remembering correctly um, I felt like he did a great job of sort of distinguishing characters and making it clear who was who and I thought that the stories worked very well in that format the other two that I want to recommend are very because uh, I wanted to have some representation of like kind of her like thrillery ones or like her spy ones um, that were a little more rompy and I I really I think part of the reason why I like both of these books is because I first listened to them as audio and I think they because they're just sort of like silly nonsense work particularly well as audio as like somebody telling you a story kind of a thing and that is The Secret of the Chimneys and The Seven Dials Mystery. Their Seven Dials is a sequel to Secret of the Chimneys. I think both of those work really well as audio because they're just super silly fun and I think having somebody tell you the story kind of um, allied some of the underlying problems in those books a little bit because you can kind of just get caught up in the the plot of it. I will just mention I have also listened to And Then There Were None on audio and while I think it's pretty good as I was making this list I realized that I didn't think it was one of the ones that, I, that particularly lent itself well to audio but that being said I think it's perfectly good if you you know have never read that that's a fine way to experience it um, but I wouldn't especially recommend it. Just a side note, because I think that's probably her best known standalone. Okay, and then let's move to Poirot. So I have seven recommendations here. Um, let's start with, okay, so there's a few of these that are just like good, like they're good books and therefore they're good audio. Um, so if you are looking for a place to start with Agatha Christie and these are some of her bigger titles, they work perfectly well as audio. And that is Cards on the Table, Murder on the Orient Express, which by the way, uh, I listened recently to the one by Dan Stevens narrating and that it was really good. I thought he did a good job. And then uh, what's the other one? Uh, Evil Under the Sun. All three of those are uh, pr some of her better known books and all three of them I think work very well as audio. Three Poros that are slightly less known, but I think do, I, I, at least in my experience, I really enjoyed the audio and I think liked the book better than I would have if I hadn't listened to it on audio at some point. Um, that is Dead Man's Folly. I was actually very surprised when I reread it re like for this project how much I didn't like it um, because I think since I first experienced it as audio and it was earlier in my uh, Christie reading I really liked it and I do think it, it's a good production. So Dead Man's Folly, One Two Buckle My Shoe which I actually think is just generally a pretty good book but not one of her better known ones. Um, I think that audio works quite nicely and then one that is not good but I enjoy again because I think the the somebody telling you the story aspect of it works well and kind of um, covers up some of its sins is The Big Four. Uh, not one of her better books but I do think it works very well as audio. I also like it particularly for road trips by the way because it is split up into sections in a way that I think lends itself well to stopping. Um, so like every two-ish hours there's kind of a natural break in the story and that's in theory just so you know you should be stretching your legs every two hours when you're driving um, especially if you are in any way prone to blood clotting so there's a little PSA for you but anyway um, I, I always like I like listening to that on a long road trip because it reminds me that I need to stop so so I think all three of those work quite well as an audio even though they're not necessarily some of her better known books and then finally I did just want to put in a plug for Poirot Investigates as a audiobook it is a collection of short stories I just love the tone of those stories and um, I think he does a great job of communicating that so I first read that as an actual book and then when I listened to it on audio I loved it even more so um, I definitely recommend that if you're interested in short stories Poirot Investigates as an audiobook does work very well I think. Okay and then finally uh, I have three marbles that I have liked pretty well on audio. The one that I like the best on audio for marble is A Caribbean Mystery um, which is a later marble but actually I think one of maybe the last really good book she wrote. I don't know. That's a that, When we get to Mission Marple, we will get there. Um, but anyway, A Caribbean Mystery I really do think works quite well as audio. And then the other two that I also really like um, on Marple Audio are A Pocket Full of Rye and 450 from Paddington, um, which I think is also known as What Mrs. McGillicuddy Saw, I think is the other title for that. But anyway, I think all three of those are really good. Um, I haven't listened, Marple is like the area of uh, Agatha Christie that I've listened to less. Um, I've probably listened to 
maybe like five or six marples, but anyway, maybe a mission marple um, for some of my rereads, maybe I will reread them as audio so that I can uh, have more insight there. But anyway, those were three of the marble ones that I do think work quite well as audio. So anyway, this is sort of a random video, but I do get asked this question a lot. So I thought since I kind of done fucked up in terms of uh, figuring out what I needed to read this week, uh, this would be a kind of a nice substitute to answer a question that I get and uh, hopefully maybe give you some inspiration in terms of listening to some Agatha Christie audio. Like I said, I think if you are somebody who takes road trips and you've never listened to an Agatha Christie as audio, highly recommend it. I think she, uh, her books really lend themselves quite well to that. So that's just my two cents. But anyway, uh, that will do it for this video. Next week, what do we have up? I think next week is not a novel again. I'm sorry. I accidentally ended up having several videos in a row here where we were not talking about a new piece of, of fiction. I think next week we're talking about some of the books that I have about Agatha Christie. And then the week after that will be on Curtain. So stay tuned for that for Project Poro. But anyway, um, otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social meds if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below. And I think that will do it. I hope you're having a really great day and I will just talk to you soon. Bye.